price. Don't mm. not go with property managers just because their price are different. I learned that the hard way. So if we're talking about mistakes, again, I went with property managers that weren't as experienced, didn't have as many systems in place, but only paid when I was needing them. And so for me, I thought that was a great idea. And in fact, it actually ended up causing more issues in the long run. And then I had to bring in more professional property managers to clean it up. And so I'll never do that again and um, take the easier road. So yeah, you want to stick with the professionals because when stuff hits the fan, so there's all of these little nitty gritty things that professional property managers would know how to handle and prevent upfront. Yeah. I, I love that. My uh, my husband has a saying, when you pay peanuts, you get monkeys. So <laughs> It's true. It's true. I know. I've learned the hard way. Exactly. You know, you really get what you pay for a lot of times. And property management is not a business where there's a tremendous margin. Or it's not like jewelry where there's like a 3,000% markup. I mean, your property managers, you're trusting them with these investments that are hundreds of thousands of dollars. So it makes sense to find the best qualified person, not the least expensive person. 